what he meant? I think so. <clears throat> we knelt together on the blanket. Elvis appeared unsure of himself. What's wrong, I asked. May I have you for my very own? I'll never forget the way he looked at me with eyes so gentle and loving. The time had come to offer myself freely to a man I loved, a man I had chosen. I answered him with the first passionate kiss I had ever getten, uh, given. My sudden forwardness frightened me for an instant. I backed away. Don't be afraid, Elvis whispered. I won't let anything bad happen to you. I won't never let anything bad happen to you. We lay down facing each other with our bodies together. Hmm, getting a little warm just reading this. <laughs> <laughs> under the bright under the bright stars of a cool memphis night we consummated our love it was more than just making love elvis's body washed away all the shame and dirtiness i had known before remember she, this unhappy marriage that she this older man she had to marry he elevated me from a degraded child to a woman who knew the ecstasy of submission this is a quote elvis said this our love is written on the wind in heaven elvis said as we lay on our backs looking up at the stars this is on a hilltop do you believe this? I believe. And, uh, and then, then you pick up the paper, he's marrying Priscilla. It wasn't that, that way at all. Um, Phil, Elvis and I fell in love. And there were so many things that transpired in our relationship. We had to make decisions. I could not just go to this man because I loved him. I had children. I had a dark past, I thought. Uh, today, I could handle it, then I couldn't. I couldn't just marry Elvis. I wasn't even divorced. So Elvis uh, went about his career and became famous, and I worked. <laughs> and um, so what did happen is that Elvis went upward, and I stayed in the same vein, so to speak, raising my children. Then he went away to the Army. And after the last time I saw him before he went away, I got pregnant with Desiree. So you're, the pregnancy came just prior to his departure for the Army. Right, right. Uh, but it was while he was in the Army that the Priscilla relationship became... Well, yes, I think he met, he met her in Germany. And uh, uh, as I detailed in the book, uh, I chose, because something dreadful happened, the man that I was married to and had filed for divorce, mm -hmm. came back to kill me because he had heard that I was dating Elvis. Uh, this man, he didn't, you know, and then he became famous. And then he realized that I was serious about him and he was going to kill him and my children and me. In fact, he did try to. He broke my door down and everything. And I had to make a decision to run or to stay there and face the consequences. And I didn't want to stay because I knew that Elvis would intervene. So I did run away and I hid for a while. And Elvis, and I've even told Elvis, I, that hurt me more than anything, is not being able to tell him that I had to be away because this man was trying to kill me. But Elvis so. did not know about this pregnancy. No, he didn't. Did you, um, after he went to the Army and he came back, did you see him then? You continued to see him? Um, in the meantime, uh, during the time he went to the Army and he came back, I had read that he had met someone that he fell in love with, and I think that took the guilt away from me. I thought, you know, I ran away from him, I'm happy he found someone else, and I married him that time. In fact, I tore Desiree's birth certificate up. I thought he'll never know about her, because he's found someone else. The moment's in motion. Yeah. Uh, when did you find out about... Uh... I found it, first of all, when I was 17. A friend of my mother's had told me, and um, the mother actually told me in 1982. You were angry, though, weren't you? That your mother hadn't told you? Very much, yes. She, she told your half-sisters before she told you. Is that right? Ah, uh, yes, she did. She told Some my younger sister. Mm -hmm. my, th my sister right over me actually knew because she had even spoke to Elvis several times on the phone when he had called. Yeah. So she knew. She never did tell me. None of my sisters actually ever told me. This woman that my mother knew came in to me and told me. Yeah. Could we just get a little closer? Is that possible to do that on Desiree? I want you to see this beautiful young woman. <laughs> Thank you. I'll second that opinion. <laughs> what, well, what do you think? Is this Elvis' child or not? Beautiful. <laughs> Um, are you suing, you don't want any part of no. the estate, or uh, you don't think you're entitled to, my goodness, uh, the billions here were... Of course I'm entitled to it, but I don't, I will never make a claim on it. I just, I really feel like if Elvis knew about me, that 
I would have, you know, he would have definitely have recognized me. Yeah. Um, now there's been so many people that have taken advantage of my father that I don't want to be one, you know, to do it. I just. Uh, as you know, there's there's a Deborah out there saying I, Elvis is my father too, and it might be true. No one knows. <laughs> um, are you suing? I'm not. I am. Even. What are you you suing for? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> it does baffle me a bit. Here you were raising Elvis's child all these years. I assume you never had a hit record. I don't know. No, uh, I never did. So you were at the very most middle class. Yes, I was a very hard worker. I still am. Okay, but watching all this happen to, to this king... Why don't you call him up and say, let's have some money, honey? Oh, uh, Phil, Elvis was very generous. Uh, I was... But he didn't know we had a child? No, you. but so I had a reason for not telling him, because I'm a firm believer. It's very hard for some people to understand that, but I'm a firm believer that you don't disrupt children's lives because of two people that are in love or feeling certain ways. I'm sorry, that's my uh, feeling. Uh, you don't have to apologize. I think <laughs> it's a wonderful position, but how would a couple of hundred bucks a month hurt the... Uh, he gave me money. He did? Yes, he did. He was very generous. Uh, I saw Elvis frequently. I talked to him a lot. And whenever I did see him, he did give me money. He didn't do it because he thought he had to. I wouldn't accept it in my hand. There's just something about exchange of money. But he would put it in an envelope, and when I'd see him, it would be in my purse. Mm -hmm. uh, he wanted to trust, set up a trust fund for me. And I'm, I guess, too proud I didn't want him to do that because I didn't want to be a kept woman. I loved him. Elvis died in 77. Yes, he did. You met him when you were 16 years old. Yes. And, uh, uh, so what year would that be, 50-something? 50 53, yes. so, so you saw him from 53 to what? To right before he died, yes. See, I was separated from Elvis for 10 years. Uh, when I ran away and I was pregnant with Desiree, I stayed in hiding and I read that he'd, you know, met someone else. and. I didn't see him. I thought, I'll make my own life. He's better off without me, and uh, less guilt on my part because mm -hmm. I had gone away without telling him. And then in 67, I got a uh, call from Elvis, and he had found out through someone at the market, which I was, I'm a designer, that I was, he had, you know, I had, he, she had seen me, and he had been calling and trying to find out. Well, he thought you were dead. So he did. Dead. He thought I was dead for a long time. And uh, so he asked me to please see him. He wanted to explain some things, and he wanted to find out some things from me. And uh, reluctantly, I did see him in Beverly Hills. Uh, I explained why I had to run away and why he got married, why so I got married. never told him he had, you had a child? Oh, he came so close, but it, I didn't want to. I didn't want to because I knew You said, I have something to tell you that's going to make you feel good. And he, and he said, I hope it's true. Is that right? The last time I spoke to him. He said, I hope what you I want to tell me is... I hope what I'm thinking is true. What do you think he was thinking? Well, he knew her name was Desiree, and he only called me Desiree because, and we had talked about children, you know, a long time ago, and I think he knew that I, you know, I had a daughter by him. I do. Well, we're going to let this audience talk to you here in Stamford, Connecticut, and we'll be back in just a moment. I wanted to ask uh, Lucy, why did you wait till Desiree was 17 before you told her? And why then did you, de why then did you decide to tell her at that time? I, she was asking me, I waited because I wanted to tell Elvis first. And uh, then I, I never wanted to tell him after he died. She didn't tell me actually when I was 17. A friend of hers had told me. Yeah. Why all of a sudden you said that you didn't want to tell Elvis that he was her father because it would be destructive to your child's life. Why, how do you figure giving your child her father and giving a father his daughter is destructive? I don't understand how oh, you well, can see I that. Well, I had other children too and they had a very normal life and Elvis was a monumental star and it wouldn't have been just a normal life had it come out. I have a question for Desiree. Um, I know my kids can't keep a secret for 10 seconds, and you said your sibling, your half-sisters and brothers didn't tell you. I, I did, can't. Though. 
Well, you said they? they didn't at that time. They didn't. And no. you but and they knew about it before you. When I was 17, this woman that had told me, I, you know, had told me, and then I had sort of baited my younger sister, and I said, you know, my father's Elvis, and she said, who told you? And I told her, and she said, well, don't tell Mother, because she'll think I told you. So, you know, we kept it all quiet. And even when I found out, I didn't go to Mother and tell her that I knew. I just, I couldn't do that. I was wondering... If what? What's up? Wait, hang on. What's the matter? You know, I'm just thinking of something. If you're not looking for money, Miss Presley uh, business, if, if you're not looking for money and everything, why are you bringing this out now to the public eye? Why are you sitting here are if you you're not looking for anything? Well, number one, because I, like I said, it is my name, and that's what I wanted from my mother was the story. Everybody needs to know where they came from and what their background is. Everybody owes and well, well, why do you have to wait so long? I mean, you're a grown girl now. Why don't you come yeah. up? With, you're getting me very upset. Well, <laughs> here's what I wanted to say. Why now, when you don't want anything out of this relationship from Elvis Presley, except the fact that you, as a woman, know that your father was Elvis Presley? That's all you have to know. Why? You're happy. Because when I was 19, my, my name on my birth certificate is Presley. Mother did give me my name. I didn't know that until I was 19 and got my birth certificate, and I started using that name, Presley. And everywhere I was going, I was, you know, being confronted, are you related to Elvis? And I would say yes, but I didn't know the facts, and it was awkward. So instead of going through my life defending myself, which I would have to do and continue to do, now the story's out and people know, and they can make their own opinion. I know who I am. Here's the birth certificate about which you spoke. Yeah, but who cares except you? Well, I don't care that everybody knows, hey, I'm Elsie. Hey, hallelujah. I don't care. Well, Why do you care? Can I just try here for a second? <laughs> uh, Hi, Elsie. This is not a bad story, if, if you don't mind my saying. And as a person who has not only written but even sold a book in public, I think that's legal, and I don't think necessarily that makes them awful people. No, I'm not saying they're awful. Uh, but the point to answer your question is a lot of people care. I mean, this is a 20th century entertainment figure, and this, it is claimed, is one of his undeclared children until this year. So... There might be 20 out there. There might be. You never know. Yeah. What? Do either of you think that there are other illegitimate children who might start popping well, up? There, we've already established that a Deborah met you, I believe, outside a television station. Right and said, I'm his father, I'm his daughter, too. Yes. And your encounter was brief, and uh, you have not seen Very her brief, since. Very no. When, when did he have time to sing if he was so busy <laughs> with all the other women? <laughs> when did he have time to sing? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. The guy had his own plane, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm still not clear about her other... She's she... still not clear. Let's straighten this out. <laughs> you say you were defending your other children, but they knew. Well, so why didn't why wrong. not just tell her? Sorry, not till they were grown. They didn't know. Uh, I had one, a very flirty child, a niece that always tried to find out things that she shouldn't, but she guessed. But I never came out and told her till Desiree was grown. What I want to know is, both of you ladies chose to sleep with prominent figures. I mean, you made that decision, right. and neither one of you took any precautions not to become pregnant or not to have back then. Well, this was the children with. People. This was the 50s. This would be pre-pill, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, but well, I mean... But there were other precautions, yeah. Yeah, I just, I'm just yeah, curious about that, like that you made that decision. You chose to sleep with them. And it, the way consequences are decision. yours. Yes. Yeah, so, you know. Well, they're not... I don't know. You're, you can't... You're not here to complain, right, no, Mrs. Brown? No, absolutely no. You're here to set the record straight. <laughs> Yes. What's the matter? Have they ever has has they ever Ask heard him. from? I have no have you ever heard from the children, Johnson children? Have we heard from them? Yes. No. No. No, we have not. No heard. comment coming from uh, the Johnsons. Are you there, caller? Go ahead. Thanks for waiting. Yes, I am. I'd like to ask a question to Desiree. Yeah. Has she ever considered having a blood test to prove that she is actually Elvis's daughter? Yes, I have had the blood test, and it has proved positive. Now, we should say that a blood test makes Elvis a candidate for paternity right, right, right. does not necessarily absolutely prove that he is. 
You have a more important piece of evidence, and that is the poem. Isn't that so? Right. Uh, Tell me about that poem briefly. Please. Yes. I, Elvis wrote this beautiful poem to me because he knew I didn't like a lot of material things, and he sent it to me with some money for a gift one Christmas, and I had kept it secret and didn't want it revealed, but then I finally decided, yes, I would reveal it so the fans could see it, and Grayson said, don't do it because we own it, or claim they own it. Then we had it authenticated by five different people. Including Charles Hamilton, who including Charles Hamilton, uh, is yes. uh, on record as saying, this and is Elvis's handwriting. Right. And it, yes, they did, and uh, he did, and several others. And uh, it contradicted a lot of things that the Elvis associates are saying, that I never saw Elvis, and he never knew me, and all this stuff. But yes, I did know him, and yes, I do have his daughter. Well, we certainly shouldn't be surprised if the estate is going to be somewhat defensive when it comes yes. to paternity claims. Yeah. But, it, it, but we're not claiming anything from them, you know, so we're not wanting yeah, money. That has this audience baffled, may I say. Well, I do not want the, I could have had the money if that's what I wanted. I really did not want that, and I All don't right. want it today. Okay. And we'll be back in just a moment. Uh, you called him L, didn't you? Yes, I did. L. It was like a nickname, code yes. name. Yes, it, it, was a, it was a pet name, really. Right. Uh, your story is in this book titled, Are You Lonesome Tonight? The Untold Story of Elvis Presley's One True Love and the Child He Never Knew. Um, and Steve, as we have established, just learned... Well, uh, referring to the other yes, lady, I'm ahead. trying to understand your reasoning, and being a woman, I honestly can't. And I don't understand Tell it. Tell me what, what you don't understand. Because he was a very famous man. She could have done everything for her children, for all of them. Mm -hmm. And money is a big thing when you're bringing up children. And I just understand, don't understand how she passed yeah. all this up. First of all, I had a stepfather that was a very good father and still is a very good father to me. And for years I thought he was my father. And money is not the most important thing, yeah. really. Um, getting back to... I wonder if Desiree has had any contact with Priscilla or Lisa. No, I haven't, but I would like very much to meet Lisa. I hope very soon. Sir. Uh, Desiree, I have heard that you had had um, plastic surgery, and I was wondering if um, Elvis's pictures had any influence on what you Actually, had chosen. Actually, there's a picture in the book that I, I was in a car accident, and yes, I did have my nose repaired. But there is a picture in the book before my surgery, and I look more like my father than I do now. Right here. You look more like your father at age 17, you think? Yes. Let me That's get it here. This one, right? I think I look crushed now. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? There you are at 17. Is that Elvis Presley's daughter? And we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I want to know, what's the point of ripping up the birth certificate? I don't understand. Oh, because I w had an emotional state at, the, at that time because I thought he had met someone else and fell in love with someone else. And it's just a woman's heart. I just thought I'll never tell him now that he's found someone else. Are you there, caller? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, this is the summer of Elvis. It's his special right. summer. It seems to me an interesting fact that this news comes out this particular summer, the book is written this particular summer. For someone who is not interested in money, you're certainly going to gain from this. Well, thank you for that comment. Uh, I wrote the book in 84. I still hated to go through with it. I mean, you can ask my publisher, my uh, co-writer. I still didn't want to do it, but I didn't hold it till this year. It wasn't my choice. They had other projects. I wonder, is uh, Mrs. Brown going to write a book? Yes. If the, uh, is the caller there? Yes. Go ahead, please. Well, I believe that the both women up there are ridiculous because they knew that the men are married. What? I feel the both women on the show are ridiculous. Why do you say that? Please make your point. Well, they have no rights, no claims to anything. Because well, they knew the man was married. And I don't feel like they have any rights or any claims to anything at all. I feel like they wanted to play. Well, they paid a price. They brought these children in this world. 
for them concerning their home records. You want to talk to them? I can. Anybody want to talk to her? Hang on, Elsie's back in this thing. <laughs> yeah, Elsie. Well, I, I just want to say, I think you're great to come up and bring it, all this stuff out. It's a little like a backstreet romance, you know? Yeah. And it, it can happen in life. It can. It, it has happens happened, frequently. I think. Yeah. Thank you. What does Desiree's stepfather think of this? How does your stepfather, the one you love who raised you? He's very supportive. He said, I have a right to do it, and, and I just have a comment. Yes, go ahead. I have a comment. I wouldn't want to be sitting up there telling uh, national television that I was the other woman. <laughs> no problem. It's not a problem for you. No problem. Yeah, I, I've got to, I've got to get some other folks in here. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> I, th <laughs> I think that you, if all the claims are true, I really think that she has tried to live at Desiree's mother, her life with dignity, if these claims are true. On the other, you know, on the other side of the coin here, and that in this day and age, maybe someone who's not greedy is not it's to be believed, to believe, yeah. not to be believed. Yeah. Thank you. It's funny, this is brought out after both fathers are dead. Yeah. 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 Why did you in here? Thank you, Mr. Donahue. I wondered how the children feel about suddenly having their private lives exploded, you know, their mothers promoting them and putting them into the public view, how they feel, if they feel a little resentful That's toward right. mom. My mother's not promoting me. I'm the one, really, that got my mother to do the book for me. It was very difficult for her. And, See, and my mother wouldn't have done it if I hadn't jumped in and filed my lawsuit, either. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, did Elvis have the drug problems that the press painted up to have? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't Did hear Elvis it. have the drug problems painted by the press? Oh, no. No, not, not like it. It was medication addiction. It really wasn't. It was drug-related, of course. This is for Steve. I was wondering who he thought... Hollywood, California. Yeah. And you always hear some kind of gossip, some kind of rumor, who's gay, who's sleeping with who, and you can always substantiate it later by going to a restaurant. You see that person with someone like that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I can't believe that nobody has seen Desiree or her mother with Elvis. Nobody can substantiate that. Nobody saw them in a restaurant. Nobody saw them together. That's and so... Also, anybody that loves you that much... Let's get Lucy in. All right. Okay, I'm... How'd I'm, you keep this a secret? It, it was very hard to keep it a secret, but that it had to be a secret, Phil. And it was a difficult thing to do, but it... What's the matter? If, he, he, if, he, if what? You'll if, stand, please? If he suspected, you know, towards the end, that last line that you said that he suspected, I hope what you're saying is true, how come, you, you know, it just hadn't been discussed? If he suspected it, he must have been suspected for a period of time. No, he knew we were together intimately, and the, the name question. Desiree just rang a bell to him. My question is to Lucy. Um, how did you register your child in school? Because I know you have to bring your birth certificate, and if it has Presley on the birth certificate, how did you... No, I always put my married name Greer on there. But in the birth certificate, it said Presley, and yes, can you get in I school... I was born by my step... I had my stepfather's been my stepfather since I was two. But you and have to bring your birth certificate no, you to school. It says Presley no, on your birth. This no, audience no, no, is going no. crazy here. This is the thing. Every, huh? Everywhere I went, I used my baptism certificate for everything. Baptismal. Yeah. All right. It seems that his memory is very important, and it seems if you have a great love for him, you would want to respect his memory and keep these illegitimate chill, whatever, out of the... Uh, Public eye. Right. I have to We're say, the innocent I bystanders. Why not? Yeah. Well, the account of my mother's book is very good about Elvis. I think it really portrays him in the real way he was. Desiree, can you sing? <laughs> can, can you I sing? sing? Oh, sing? Not a word, no. <laughs> Not I'd all. like to know who's listed as Steve's father on his birth certificate. Brown. 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 I go by the name. Yeah. Mr. Brown. Yes. How old is Desiree? How old is Desiree? Uh, 29. Yeah. How much is he suing for? How much are you suing for, Stephen? 10.5 million. That's just punitive damages. <laughs> Bet in all of it. I would like to know what Desiree does for a living. What do you I do some modeling, and I'm into real estate as well. Yes. Are you going to deduct all the living um, expenses that he, he supported you when you were growing up from that 2.5 million? No. <laughs> well, it doesn't count, huh? No, it doesn't. I'm, no, it doesn't. <laughs> are you there, caller? Go ahead. Uh, yes, I am. Go ahead. I wanted to say that I read uh, Lucy DeBarman's book, and I feel that she must be a very strong woman. I admire her for protecting uh, Elvis and his reputation and her family for what she thought would be a certain scandal, and I really wish her the best. I, no matter what anyone else thinks, she has all the memories. Steve, what do you... What do you do for a living, Steve? Pardon? What do you do? 
Amen. I wouldn't mind having a little piece of this book myself. There are a lot of, there's a lot of curiosity. Are you lonesome tonight? Here is a young woman who says Elvis is my father. Now that's, of course, the mother of Johnson. Yeah, did you vote for President Johnson? Did you I vote for him? Vote. <laughs> yeah. 300. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Lu Over here, please. Lucy, yes. I want to know why you weren't engaged to Elvis when he died, if you were still in love.